Hi everyone, thanks for joining. This week I'm going to be doing a review of Brambleberry Salt of the Earth Fragrance Oil Collection. Um, I know it's been out for a while and you know a lot of people have already used it but this is for people who haven't and I'm mostly going to gear it towards cold process soap making and I'm also um, going to do this as out of the bottle review. Um, I've only actually used one of the fragrance oils on the soap so far and that was the sea salt and lily. Um, in this review, I'm going to go over which ones I like the best, so it's going to be kind of in order of my favorite to least favorite. Um, not to say that somebody else might like these, but this is just my personal opinion, and I just kind of wanted to give it to you in case you were looking for something like this. So my all-time favorite out of the whole collection was the Sea Salt and Lily fragrance oil. Um, when you get this and you open it, it does smell very fresh and clean. That is one thing I really like about it. On the description, it says it has notes of pink salt, lime, water lotus, lily, sage, and orange blossom. I would say when I smell this out of the bottle, um, the lime really comes through as well as the sage. Um, so those were the notes that I was smelling the most, and I love fresh citrus type um, fragrance oil so that's why this one was my favorite. Um, I was a little bit worried when I was going to use this one in a cold process soap that the scent would fade but I think it really came to life and the fragrance notes kind of popped a little bit more. It is still curing on my rack but um, as it cures it's not losing any of the fragrance. Everything smells just as good as it did when it was in the bottle. So that's why this one's my favorite and I would highly recommend it if you don't buy any of the fragrance oils from the collection or don't want to buy the whole collection to at least buy this one because it is a winner. I also would like to say one thing about this fragrance oil that I did like is that it was saying on the website that there was no discoloration and I would say that is definitely true. Um, the color on my soap did stay you know close as it could to a white color. Out of the collection the next one I liked the best was After the Rain. So this one on the description says it has notes of rain on pavement, misty fog, violet jasmine, and magnolia. I will say when I smell this out of the bottle, it does smell very floral. It, it, that is kind of why I like it actually, but it's not like an overpowering granny floral. It's kind of clean. If you've gotten like another one from Brand of Larry, I really like is Kentish Rain. It sort of reminds me of that, but with more floral notes. Um, I would say this would also make a good unisex one, even though it does have floral notes in it. They're still light enough and the overall scent is pretty fresh and clean, so it makes it feel like it's more of a unisex fragrance oil. That's another reason why I think it would be my second favorite out of this list. Um, according to the website, there is a slight discoloration with this soap. Again, I haven't used it myself, so you're, I can update it and... Um, you know, if you want to check out my other videos, I'll have a review of it with a little bit more on that as well. Now, my third favorite from the collection is the Driftwood and Amber Fragrance Oil. On the description, it says it has olive fruit, I don't even know how to say this, guys, I'm sorry, heritelope, amberwood musk, rose, and sandalwood. I think what is coming through most for me is the um, musky smells, the amber, and the sandalwood. I do smell a little bit of a, like a fruity rose on there as well, um, but they're not as overpowering. I would say if I was going to pick one of these fragrance oils to be geared towards men, this is the one that I would use. Um, it is nice and warm smelling when you smell it, and I just can't get enough of it. I would say that this fragrance oil is soft and clean with a hint of masculinity, um, but it is more of a unisex, but you know, use it how you like. It also said on the website that this one would discolor a little bit, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Now guys, for the last one on the list is the Frosted Sea Glass. I normally don't say negative things, but um, if I would remove one of these from the collection, it would definitely be this. I honestly would not recommend this out of the bottle. It just smells disgusting. I am sorry, I normally don't say negative things, but it kind of reminds me of like, fresh cut celery or something. 
Um, the description says dewy greens, watery, ozonic, lavender, eucalyptus, and moss notes. Um, I am getting some of that. I don't know what is making it smell off. It might be the dewy greens, I guess. But something is just not hitting my nose right. I don't want to use this in anything. Um, I probably will make a bar of soap with it because it kind of smells like the sea kelp fragrance oil that I bought from Wholesale Supplies Plus a couple months ago. And once that was in soap, it kind of mellowed out a little bit. I'm hoping that happens with this. Um, but again, I would not buy this on its own. I honestly wouldn't recommend it, and I would just remove it from the line entirely. So there's the lineup of my favorite from favorite to least favorite. Um, if you guys like this type of video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like and subscribe, or if there's another kit that they have that you want me to review, leave a comment below, or if you've used these, um, tell us which one is your favorite and least favorite, because um, like I said, everybody just wants to share information here and um, get it out there. So thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.